I already feel it in my spirit that this is not an ordinary Shiloh hour. This is the one that will settle your case. And this particular Shiloh hour, I make bold to say, is the one that will settle your case. Because we have just finished an extraordinary convention with the theme Dominion. You are going to exercise your dominion today. And no power will stop you. No evil will stop you. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to rise up and pray and say, Father, let this one be my own change moment. Let this one be my change moment. Let this one be a result oriented encounter let this particular particular shiloh hour be a resort oriented encounter let this particular shiloh hour be a resort oriented encounter in my life let this particular hour be the hour i've been waiting for lord i'm full of expectations meet my needs this period that's why i'm here just meet my needs meet the need of my family the needs of my friends meet my needs let this be an unforgettable encounter let this particular shiloh R be an unforgettable encounter with you an unforgettable encounter with you an unforgettable encounter with you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Mighty man of war, lion of Judah, we bow down and worship you, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do what only you can do. Mighty man of war, lion of Judah, we bow down and worship you, Yahweh. Yahweh, Jesus, Yahweh, come and do what only you can do. Mighty man of battle, Lion of Judah, Jesus, we bow down and worship and worship you, Yahweh. Yahweh, Jesus, Yahweh, come and do what only you can do. Mighty man of war, lion of Judah, we bow down. Have come before you this morning to say thank you for all you have done in the past to say thank you for what you are doing now to say thank you for what you will yet do father please accept our thanks in the name of jesus lord you are the god that performed the impossible nothing is too hard for you we have seen this we have heard this in the past testimonies even this just concluded convention tens of thousands of people came forward with great testimonies of what you have done in their lives lord we just want to say thank you lord please accept our thanks in the name of jesus 
because of this confidence that we have in you, we have decided to resort to you. Because we know, we are convinced, we have this confidence that you will do our own. Father, we are before you this morning. Lord, please perform your wonders in our lives. Let no one ever live here without a real Shiloh encounter. In the name of Jesus. We know you that did it for others, you will do it for us. Lord, please perform your wonders in our lives. Touch every life. Open every closed womb. Destroy every barrier. Remove every sickness. Destroy every disease. Lift those that are down. Encourage those that are discouraged. Help those that have been helpless. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we promise that the glory will remain yours and yours alone. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Sing that song if you mean it from the depth of your heart. No. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can heal where no man can heal, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do. Jehovah, only you can do what no man Lord, can do. To Jesus. Jehovah, only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, Jehovah, only you can do what no man Sing can do. Sing it if you mean it, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. I feel it in my spirit that what has never been done before, what you have never experienced before, is about to happen to you. This same God you have been hearing testimonies about is your turn and time to give your own testimony. Amen. What men thought, what society thought was not going to be possible in your life will become possible. Will become possible. Will become possible. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. You know I have this confidence because my father in the Lord who gave me the privilege to come to this exalted altar is in his prayer room right now praying for you. So he is there backing you up, backing me up. I have no doubt that this is the encounter you have been waiting for. You are about to receive your own. Who am I talking to? Maybe it's one person. You are about to receive your own breakthrough. If you are the one, rise up and shout hallelujah. Genesis 1, 28. Genesis 1, 28. Please just pay very close attention and follow the scriptures. Prepare because this is your time. Have that great concent concentration and God will give you your desire. Genesis 1, 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea 
and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Please just follow me. Just follow me. Isaiah 54, Isaiah 54, verse 1 to verse 3. Isaiah 54, verse 1 to verse 3. Sing, O barren, thou that did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Just follow me closely. Psalm 113, verse 9. Psalm 113, verse 9. Psalm 113, verse 9. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. I know we have just concluded a very exciting, wonderful convention with the theme Dominion. And we have received dominion. It has been explained to us what dominion means and what dominion can do for you. So this morning, I want to be looking at enforcing your dominion over barrenness. Enforcing that dominion over barrenness. So we are going to also be praying because what... I've told God in my heart what I've expressed to him, that let this one be an unforgettable encounter. Now, no matter what has been the obstruction, the obstacle, the problem, that people have said, oh, oh, this is peculiar, it's difficult. God is going to deal with that peculiar case in the name of Jesus. Enforcing your dominion over barrenness. To enforce is to put or keep in force to compel obedience. Because this morning you are going to compel anything that will be working contrary to the will of God and the promises of God in your life to obey God, to obey God's word. To enforce is to compel obedience. To enforce a rule. So we are going to compel the devil and his agents to make sure that the promise of God in your life is fulfilled and that promise is going to be fulfilled. That promise in your life is going to be fulfilled. We are going to enforce the rule of fruitfulness. We are going to make him to obey by force, by compulsion. And any hindrance, any obstacle, anything hindering you thus far, we obey God in your life. In the name of Jesus. I don't know if I still need to define dominion, but you know that dominion means ruling power. Ruling power. Authority. Control. Ability to be in charge. Rulership. You are going to be ruling over difficulties. Anything that has said you will not make it, you are going to be ruling over them in the name of Jesus. Barrenness. To be barren means not producing results. To be barren means to be fruitless. Barrenness is fruitless labor. Putting in efforts and not seeing the commensurate result is barrenness. And there are many types of barrenness. And I just tell you a few. There is family barrenness. That you are married and you have not had the fruit of the womb. There is faith barrenness. You have a ministry. You are serving God. But the results are not showing in your life. You are not producing results. Barrenness in the area of faith. There is financial barrenness. That others are making it. If they go to market to sell, people buy and they make profit. You are not making profit. You are having 
lack in the area of finance. So there is what we call family barrenness, faith barrenness, financial barrenness. No matter the form of barrenness you have been experiencing, it will be terminated on this ground in the name of Jesus. I am under a peculiar unction, under a peculiar anointing. My Father in the Lord, whose life has shown fruitfulness in the area of family, fruitfulness in the area of faith, fruitfulness in the area of finances, is backing you up. You will no longer be barren in the area of your family. There will be no barrenness in the area of your faith. You will now be producing results. There will be no financial barrenness in your life. In the name of Jesus. So you are going to be enforcing your dominion this morning. And enforcing dominion means using your God-given authority. Your God-given authority, your God-given mandate to control Satan, to control self, to control situations and circumstances so that they will obey you by compulsion, by force. So that they will be obeying God. So enforcing dominion means using your God-given authority to compare Satan, compare self, compare situations and circumstances to be obeying God, to be obeying you by force, by compulsion. And this morning as we pray, everything that he that was not under your authority, that was not obeying you, will obey you. What you decree is going to come to pass. You are going to be ruling and reigning over Satan, over self, over situations and circumstances. In the name of Jesus. Please understand this, that if you refuse to enforce your dominion, you will be forcefully dominated by Satan, by self, by situations and circumstances. You could then remain barren, but if you enforce your dominion, you will overcome whatsoever has been an obstacle in your life. Please understand this, that God delights in bringing the barren to a place of fruitfulness. Isaiah 54 that we read, Isaiah 54, verse 1 to 3. God delights in bringing the barren to a place of fruitfulness. That's the delight of God. That's why this program is taking place. And if you know what Shiloh means, you will understand why I said today is your own day. Shiloh was the major worship center under the Old Testament before the temple was built. Shiloh was the place of encounter, the place of resort, the place of possibilities. So whenever people go to Shiloh, they go to have an encounter with God. They go to receive resorts. Wherever they were fruitless, they start bearing fruits. It was the place in Jerusalem where the children of Israel were usually going to have an encounter with God. And if you go through the scripture, you will discover that God recognizes the problem of barrenness, of infertility. But you can also see the promise of God in the scripture. And there are many promises in the scriptures. For example, Exodus 23, verse 26. Exodus 23, verse 26. The Bible says, There shall nothing cast their young or be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. I see God fulfilling your days and making you fruitful in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 14. Deuteronomy 7, 14. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. Barrenness will no longer be found in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. That's why 
I have this confidence because God recognizes the problem. He has made provision for you to escape the trap of barrenness. And you are going to escape the trap of barrenness in the name of Jesus. Children of God who are truly serving God are exempted from remaining barren under the old covenant. They are exempted from remaining barren. That's what we see in Exodus chapter 23, verse 26. Exodus 23, verse 26. None shall be barren in the land. You will no longer be barren. God is delivering you today and giving you what you desire. In the name of Jesus. And I want you to look at examples in the scriptures and what they did, the people who received, the people that God opened their womb, the people that the society were calling barren, barren, barren. I want you to see what they did to enforce dominion that opened a door of fruitfulness for them. But please, first of all, understand this. That every time, please note this, every time that God opened a closed womb in the Bible, a great character is always born. Every time that God opened a womb, a great character is always born. And you see this in Isaac, a very great character after God opened the womb of the mother. You see this in Joseph and the life of Benjamin. A great character. A wonderful man who started ruling and reigning. Every time God opens a womb, a great character is always born. You also know what happened in the family of Manoah. What happened in the birth of Samson. A great character in his time. What of Samuel? The child of Anna, a great character. What of John the Baptist? A great character. So I have this confidence that God is about to bring someone that the world have never seen into your life. The child, the children that are going to be born to you are going to be very great children who will surpass the achievement of those who have been around, those who have been mocking you in the name of Jesus. That is going to happen to you. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe it's one person. If you are the one I'm talking to, rise up and shout hallelujah. Just look at a few examples. Maybe two examples of those who enforced their dominion. And God opened their womb. They became fruitful after an encounter with God. Let's first of all look at the New Testament. Look at Zechariah and Elizabeth. Zechariah and Elizabeth. In fact, the name Zechariah actually means remembered of God. Remembered by Yahweh. God is going to remember you today. If people thought that he has forgotten you, by the results you will start manifesting from here under this encounter, God himself will show the people that he has remembered you in the name of Jesus. If you read the book of Luke, Luke chapter 1 from verse 5 to 25, you will see that Zechariah was able to enforce and enjoy dominion over barrenness because he did some things. He was able to enforce dominion and he started enjoying dominion over barrenness because of what he did. What are these things? I just tell you probably about three of them. In spite of what he was going through, he remained a faithful priest. He remained a faithful priest. Luke chapter 1, verse 5 to 7. Luke chapter 1, verse 5 to 7. Because he knew what the scripture says in Proverbs 28, verse 20. Proverbs 28, verse 20. The Bible says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. So if you remain faithful under the condition you are in now, difficult condition, you remain faithful to God, 
you are going to abound with grapefruits. You are bound with children, wonderful children, extraordinary children with great abilities. They are going to be the results of your faithfulness in the name of Jesus. He remained a faithful priest. Number two, what Zechariah and Elizabeth did that made them to enforce dominion over barrenness. Zechariah remained a fearful priest. He had the fear of God. He continued in the fear of God. He refused to offend God by reason of the circumstance he was going through. He didn't allow the situation to change his mind. He remained fearful of God, humble to God, obedient to God. He remained a fearful priest. Luke chapter 1, verse 8 to 17. Luke chapter 1, verse 8 to 17. And then number three, he remained a favored priest. He remained under the favor of God. He kept converting the favor of God. So he remained a faithful priest. He remained a fearful priest. And then a favored priest. God showed him great favor because of his faithfulness, because he had the fear of God. He kept enjoying the favor of God. And I'm sure people were wondering what was going to happen. And he had the medical dimension of favor. By the time God intervened, whatever was the sickness or hindrance was removed. You are going to have the medical dimension of favor. Whatever doctors have diagnosed that they say is going to make it impossible for you to be fruitful, is going to be dealt with on this ground in the name of Jesus. It will be dealt with on this ground in the name of Jesus. He had medical dimension of favor. He had marital dimension of favor. So that where they thought he was not going to be fruitful, by reason of the old age, he became fruitful. He had ministerial dimension of favor. He was still ministering and still receiving results because of the favor of God. You are going to have great favor from God. Medical dimension of favor. Marital dimension of favor. Ministerial dimension of favor. In the name of Jesus. The God that remembers the career, we remember you. We remember you. We remember you today. Today, not another day. We remember you today. In the name of Jesus. What of Anna? What of Anna? That great woman. How was it that a woman that they were mocking, that they thought was not going to have children, had children? It was because she enforced her dominion over barrenness. How did she enforce her dominion over barrenness? Please pay very close attention to these few points because they are going to help you. If you have not heard anything, please hear this because this will lead us to the next phase. What was it that she did? Number one, she invested in prayers, in praying, in spite of difficulty. She still invested in prayer. She was still going to Shiloh regularly to pray. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. Right from the beginning, when she discovered that there was a problem, she just decided to invest her life in prayer. In spite of the difficulty, what was the difficulty? She found herself in a home where the man had other wives. And there are some of you who have found yourself in a fix, in a difficult situation. If you invest in prayer, God will deliver you. God will give you the solution you are looking for. She invests in prayer in spite of difficulty. Number two, she enforced her dominion by investing in prayer in spite of discouragement. She invested in prayer in spite of difficulty. She invested in prayer in spite of discouragement. You know how she was being discouraged by Penina. You know what they were saying. You know the discouragement. And discouragement can destroy some people's faith. But in spite of discouragement, she invested in prayer. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. 
Number three, she invested in prayer in spite of desperation. Even though she found herself in a desperate situation where she needed a solution, she still invested in prayer. When some people become desperate, they can go for anything that will bring them good. My prayer for you is that as you invest in prayer, particularly during this encounter, you will have solution to your problems. In the name of Jesus, she invested in prayer in spite of the desperate situation, in spite of desperation. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. No matter what you are going through, I want you to invest in prayer this morning. Just take this as the encounter you have been waiting for. And God is going to do something unusual in your life. Your situation is going to change. Your circumstance is going to change. No power will stop you. No demon will stop you. In the name of Jesus. Maybe you are barren, burdened, and bitter because of your situation. You are having bitterness of soul because of situation. This was what happened to Anna. She was barren, burdened, and having bitterness of soul. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 10. But through the encounter in Shiloh, Anna became blessed with babies. I don't know if you are barren, burdened, and having the bitterness of soul. On this ground, by this encounter, this is my decree. And this is the decree of the watchers. You will have an angelic encounter. The God of the redeemed Christian Church of God, the God of Reverend Akidayomi, the God of Adeboye, who has made this ministry fruitful, who made their life fruitful, will make you fruitful. We give you the desires of your life. In the name of Jesus. Because even though Anna was barren, was burdened, and had bitterness of soul, she believed God and was blessed with baby. Are you ready to believe God? If you are ready to believe God, today is your day. As you live here, the spirit of conception that you have been looking for will follow you home. In the name of Jesus. God will deliver to you what heaven has ordained for your life, for your family, for your finances. In the name of Jesus. So we are going to be praying. And I really want you to pray sincerely, seriously today. And I really want you to pray fervently. But before we pray, maybe there are some of you here, you have not given your life to Christ. I know altar call was made during the divine encounter. Maybe you are here and you know in your heart that you have not surrendered to this God who can make the impossible possible. Or you are here, you know you are backsliding. That's why you did something wrong. And you want God to forgive you. Because you, only you, may be the one who knows why your situation has remained like this. And you want us to combine our faith and pray for you. You want to surrender your life to Christ so that that obstacle will be removed. Or you want to rededicate your life to Christ during this encounter. I'd like you to come. And I'm going to pray for you. I have great backing on this altar. You don't know what it means, what it feels when you are on this altar that can alter life and your parents in the Lord are somewhere interceding in the secret place for you. Something good is about to happen to you. So if you are here, you have not given your life to Christ or you want to rededicate your life to Christ, please come forward. Don't be shy. Come. Because this is an encounter you have been waiting for. Just come. Quickly come, quickly come, quickly come so that we pray for you before we pray. God bless you. God bless you. Come, come. You could just be the only one. And you could be the one also going home with solution. Please clap for them as they come. God bless you. God bless you. Come. Take a step of faith. Don't allow anything to stop you or hinder you. Come, come. Make it fast. Just come. Be bold about it. God will forgive you. You'll be rededicated to God. God bless you. Come, come. Just come. Just come. Come. 
Come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come, we are going to pray for you. God is about to change your destiny. What you have been waiting for is about to be delivered to you. Hindrances are about to be removed. Obstacles are about to be removed. Come, come, come. Please come, come quickly. Come, come, come. We are going to be praying for you. Come, come, come. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you that are clapping for them, you will receive something special. Clap for them. Come, 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 come quickly. Come. Come, come, come. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come forward. Come close to the altar because your life is about to be altered for good. Come. Come quickly. Come quickly. God bless you. 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 Come. 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 When the result come, people are going to be celebrating for you. As they are clapping for you now, people will clap for you. Come. As they are clapping for you now, you will see what will happen to you when the results start coming after this encounter. Come. 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 If you are still there, wherever you are, please be coming while we pray. I like you, those of you that are here, talk to God. Tell him, Lord, I have come to surrender and submit to you. I have come to rededicate my life to you. Lord, please forgive me. Give me a new beginning. Forgive me. Give me a new beginning. Lord, please forgive me. Forgive me. Write my name in the Lamb Book of Life. Forgive me. Give me a new beginning. Forgive me. Forgive me. Even as you forgave that woman who was even caught in adultery and you opened a new chapter, you were writing a new chapter for her. Her life turned around. Open a new chapter for my life. Open a new chapter for my life. Open a new chapter for me. Lord, please, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and bring about the changes I've been looking for. Lord, please forgive me. I've come to rededicate my life to you. I've come back home into your presence. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we want to thank you for these ones who have answered the call to come out of darkness into your marvelous light. As they have prayed and they have asked you to come into their life, let all things pass away and let all things become new in their lives. Write their names in the Lamb Book of Life. Open a new chapter of fruitfulness in every aspect, in every area of life for them in the name of Jesus. Where there was no result, let there be good results. As the brethren were clapping for them when they were coming out, let it be that by this encounter, people will be honoring them. People will be rejoicing with them when the results start coming. We commit them into your hands. We hand them over to you. Holy Spirit, perfect their lives. You that will never cast anyone out that has been committed to you, Lord, please keep these ones. Let them not fall away. And on that great day, when the trumpet shall sound, let none of them be found wanting. In Jesus' name, we pray. Okay, while you are still there, and probably they are giving you papers to write your name, I want you to join every one of us that are going to pray. So let us rise up. We are going to pray. Now, please, brethren, I want you to pray. Take this as an encounter you have been waiting for. Now, there are testimonies I keep hearing. Some of them, I really wonder how they happen. For example, people that have no womb, and then they started having children. God just brought in a new womb. 
And those of you who were at this uh, last convention, this convention we just uh, ended, I'm sure you saw tens of thousands of people who came out with their children. Your own will not be too difficult. Now, is the height, the highest height of arrogance for any person to feel that his own situation, her own situation, is too difficult for God. That's the highest height of arrogance. When you think your own problem is probably too difficult for God. Is there anything too difficult for God? We have seen 50 years old people, 60 years, those that have entered the period of menopause, God just removed the pause and opened the womb. God will open your own womb. And I'd like you to pray with that confidence. I've seen those who were financially barren. And God just opened the door of financial prosperity. It will happen to you. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray and I'm going to give you some few prayer points. But first of all, I want you to thank God for what he has done in the past for your life. Just appreciate him for what he has done for you in the past. Tell him, Lord, thank you. Even for what he just did during this last convention. Thank him for what he has done for others also. Thank him. For when Job started praying for his friends, his own situation turned around. Just thank him and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Although there are some areas I'm looking up to you, there are many other areas you have performed wonderfully in my life. I just want to appreciate you. I'm not taking you for granted. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Lord, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my faith. Thank you for my finances. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my past. Thank you for my future. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for how you have rescued me in the past. Thank you for the difficulties I have faced in the past. And you saw me through. Thank you for the solution to problems of the past. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. I can see your hand in my life. I can testify that in spite of what people may think, your hand is upon my destiny. It's upon my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank you. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Sing it from the depth of your heart. Because he's about to do something now for you. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can heal where no man can heal, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can bless where no man can bless, Jehovah.
land, you are going to remain there. And I want us to pray. I want us to pray. And I want you to pray effectively by the time we are finishing all those that have written letters to Daddy Gio for prayers. You are going to come forward so that as he's praying there for you, we pray for you here and no power will stop you from enjoying fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray and say, Father, remove fruitlessness away from my life and family and remove my life and family away from fruitlessness. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray and say, Father, remove fruitlessness away from my life and family. Remove my life and family out of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. Be fervent about this prayer. Pray, pray, pray. Let heaven know you are ready for an encounter. Remove me and my family away from fruitlessness. Remove me and my family away from fruitlessness. Remove fruitlessness away from me and my family. Remove fruitlessness away from me and my family. Remove my family away from fruitlessness. Remove fruitlessness away from my family, from my life. Remove me away. Remove my family away from fruitlessness. Pray. Remove me away from fruitlessness. Remove my family away from fruitlessness. And remove my life, my children, my friends away from fruitlessness. And remove fruitlessness out of our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are still going to pray because you are enforcing your dominion on this ground. Remember, Anna invested in prayer and something happened. Something will happen to you. Something good will happen to you on this ground. You are still going to pray and say, Father, destroy barrenness out of my life. Destroy barrenness out of my life. And deliver me from barrenness. In the name of Jesus, destroy barrenness out of my life. And deliver me from barrenness. Deliver my family from barrenness. On this ground, by reason of this encounter, Father, destroy barrenness in my life. Deliver me out of barrenness. Let me be fruitful from now on. Whatsoever has been the cause of barrenness, destroy, 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 destroy. By reason of this encounter, destroy, destroy. Destroy, 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 destroy the cause of family barrenness, destroy the cause of financial barrenness, destroy, 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 destroy on this ground, destroy, 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 destroy. In Jesus' name we pray. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. You are still going to pray. The atmosphere is already charged. The innumerable company of the angelic host is present to deliver to you what you require in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray and say, Father, on this ground, under this anointing, during this encounter, Arrest the arresters of my fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, arrest anything that has arrested fruitfulness in my life. Arrest the arresters of fruitfulness in my life. Arrest the arresters. Hinder the hindrances. Arrest the arresters of fruitfulness in my life. 
arrest the arresters of fruitfulness in my life. Arrest the arresters of fruitfulness in my life. Arrest the arresters of fruitfulness in my life. Arrest the arresters of fruitfulness in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do Jesus. What no man Something can is do, happening here. Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. You are still going to pray and say, Father, destroy the demonic foundational gates. Destroy the demonic foundational gate blocking me from being fruitful in the name of Jesus destroy the demonic foundational gate blocking me from being fruitful destroy the demonic foundational gate holding me from being fruitful destroy the demonic foundational gate holding me I enforce my authority over them. Let them be destroyed. 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 On this ground, under this function, let them be destroyed. All the money foundational gates blocking me from being fruitful. Whether they are spiritual, whether they are physical, all the foundational gates blocking me from being fruitful. Whether they are people, all the foundational gates, wherever they are, all the foundational gates, blocking me from being fruitful, destroy them, 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 destroy them. In Jesus' name we pray. You are still going to pray and say, Father. You are the God that answered by fire. You are the God of Reverend Akidayomi, the God of Adeboye. Father, let the God that answered by fire, let the God of Akindayomi, let the God of Adeboye answer me by fire on this ground. In the name of Jesus, answer me by fire. On this ground, answer me by fire. Lord, please answer me. Let today be the end of the numerous problems. Let today be the end of the things that have been disturbing my faith, that have been disturbing my peace. The God of Adeboye, answer me by fire. The God of Elijah, answer me by fire. Answer me by fire. Today, answer me by fire. Today, answer me by fire. By the time I get home, let people know I've had an encounter with you. Answer me by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. You are still going to pray and say, Father, let every power of failure at the edge of breakthrough be arrested. You know, there are some people, now listen to me, there are some people, when it's almost going to be breakthrough, they have conceived, and suddenly they have miscarriages. You are going to pray and say, Father, let every power of failure at the edge of breakthrough be arrested and rendered powerless in my life. In the name of Jesus, let every power of failure at the edge of breakthrough be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, render powerless. Let every power of failure at the edge of my breakthrough be arrested, 
render powerless, be arrested, render powerless, be arrested, render powerless, be arrested, render powerless, be arrested, render powerless, render powerless, render powerless. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are still going to pray and say, Father, nullify any curse that has been placed upon my destiny, that has been placed upon my family. Whoever has placed that curse upon my life, my family, that is making me to encounter this unpleasant situation, nullify that curse on this ground. Nullify the curse. Nullify that curse. Nullify that curse. Nullify every curse, every spell cast against my well being. Nullify, 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 nullify. The God of Adeboe, nullify that curse. Nullify, 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 nullify that curse. 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 Nullify. Nullify, nullify, nullify. In Jesus' name, we pray. I'm going to pray for you. Now, before I pray for you, and I tell you, I have this great confidence. I don't care what has been the problem that has made you to be weeping, that has made you to be troubled. On this ground, that problem will be arrested and banished from your life. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you, those of you particularly who have written to daddy for prayer in the area of fruitfulness, or whatsoever area you have written to daddy, I'd like you to come forward. Just join these ones still. Uh, okay, those that um, are up with the counselors, just shift aside or you let them remain. Come forward. I'm going to pray for you. Like I told you, daddy is praying for you right there now. I'm going to pray for you. Every other person, you need the prayer of daddy. You want him to pray for you or you have written him or you want him to pray for you. Come forward. While you do that, just prepare your offering so that by the time we finish you will drop your offering. Make sure you give something to God to appreciate him for what he has done. I'm waiting for your testimony. Just tell somebody beside you, I'm waiting for your testimony. I'm waiting for your testimony. Tell three people, I'm waiting for your testimony. I'm waiting for your own testimony. By reason of this encounter, I'm waiting for your testimony. Those of you who want daddy to pray for you, just come, come forward. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do Glory to Jesus. what no man only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do Jesus. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jesus. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Only you, only you. What no man can do. He will do it for me. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Jesus. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you, 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 only you Jehovah. Only you can do, Jesus. What no man can do, Jesus. Jehovah. Only you can do, what no man only can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. No man can do Jehovah. Only you Jesus. Can do. What no man can do Jesus. Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do Jehovah. Only you 
an encounter that you have been waiting for. Now, let me tell you the confidence so that you know what will happen to you. You know, when Elijah had declared that I hear the sound of the abundance of rain, just like I'm hearing the sound of miracles, the sound of fruitfulness. When he declared that, he sent the servant to go and see, I am sent here. And then he was on his face on the ground, kneeling and talking to God. So even what the faith of the servant could not carry, somebody was there. And because somebody was there, interceding, the rain fell in abundance. Rain of miracles are about to fall in abundance. Because... I've told you, your father in the Lord, my father in the Lord, is somewhere now praying for you. So, what men thought was impossible. Remember rain falling in the time of drought when people were not expecting rain. After great drought, rain fell. I don't know how long you have experienced drought in the area of fruitfulness. The rain is about to fall. The rain is about to fall. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe it's only one. The rain is about to fall. The rain is about to fall. In the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, I'd like you to stretch forth your hands towards this altar as I pray for you. Whatsoever has made this mission and this ministry to be fruitful, whatsoever has made Pastor Ia Deboye and his family to be fruitful. Whatsoever gave Anna the bundle of joy, whatsoever gave John the Baptist to Zechariah and Elizabeth, I call on that same God to deliver your own in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah. I call on that same God of the whole earth with whom nothing is impossible. To deliver your own in the name of Jesus. To give you your own in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have written as a prayer request. Or whatsoever you have as a prayer request in your heart. Whatsoever you have written to this mission or to our parents in the Lord. To pray for you on. Receive the answer. Receive the solution. Receive the answer. Receive the solution. Ah. Whatsoever you have been looking up to God for, whatsoever has made people to mock you and they are wondering whether it will be done, let it be done in your life. Receive the answer. Receive your demand. Receive your desire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have been given dominion. We are supposed to go and be fruitful, to be multiplying to be replenishing, to be subduing. Under that mandate, I enforce that dominion in your life. From now on, be fruitful. From now on, be fruitful. Be fruitful. In your family, be fruitful. In your work, be fruitful. In your home, be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And under this unction, I decree against that sickness, against that disease, against that power. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Out of your life in the name of Jesus. Out of your life in the name of Jesus. That demonic strong man, that water spirit, that demon, that force that they have placed to hinder you, I command that spirit, that evil thing, that evil power, out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. The God who has been giving joy to this mission. The God who has made it so that everything we do, we have good fruits. That same God, we answer you by fire. We answer you by fire. We answer you by fire. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in nine months time is our decree from this altar you will give your testimony you will have good results wherever there were miscarriages we banish miscarriages in your life in the name of Jesus you will not fail you will not fall you will not fail you will not fall you will not fail you will not fall in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we pray now as we dance now I like you to give a faithfully give an offering to God to show him you believe you know you are assured that he is meeting your needs only you can do what no man can do Jehovah. Only you can do Give your offering Only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, Jehovah Only you can do what no man has done No man can pay off for the over. This year you will suffer no loss. Cam TV, RCC Dubai TV channel. Father, we thank you for what your children have given because they have shown appreciation. Let everyone have something to celebrate. As they go home, let the miracles follow them. And let the testimonies be flowing in. And I pray for you that the rest of this week, the rest of this month, the rest of this year will be the best you have ever witnessed. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.